This is the 100th tutorial that I have published on YouTube. For the 100th tutorial, I want to do something a bit different. I would like to spend a few minutes showing how you can best take advantage of the resources I have put together for mastering JavaScript. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. So I have published 100 tutorials on JavaScript, but through questions, it is apparent that some of these tutorials are being missed. So I'm going to do a pretty simple tutorial and talk about how you can access the other tutorials that I have published. Also, since this is the 100th tutorial, I wanted to do something special. So at the end of this video, I will provide a link for the lowest prices I've ever offered on my courses. But first, let's talk about how you can make the most of the tutorials on YouTube. So my goal with the tutorials I've created are to help improve JavaScript skills. Now I mainly focus on vanilla JavaScript. I haven't gotten into particular libraries or frameworks, not because there is no use in those. I use them a lot and you should use them. But I focus on vanilla JavaScript because in order to be a JavaScript programmer, you can't lean on those libraries or frameworks. You can take full advantage of them only by knowing and understanding vanilla JavaScript very well. As you improve your skills in plain JavaScript, you will be in a much better place. Now, one way to find all the different tutorials I've published is through my channel. This URL will get you to the front page of my channel, or you can also click the channel name, All Things JavaScript, while watching a video, and it will take you there. Now, on the main channel page, in case you're not familiar with the main channel page in YouTube, you have access to everything that I've published. There's two places where you probably want to look. First, on the home page, I include some of the more common tutorials at the top. Then there's a few of the playlists, and then some of the more popular tutorials are below that. And then the most recent posts are at the bottom. So that's how the home page is structured. Now, if you want to access all of the tutorials, you just click on the videos tab. And you can see that you can access all of them. They're all available there, all 100. Now, something else I've done is I've tried to organize a lot of these tutorials into playlists to make them focused around a particular category. For example, the most recent playlist I've developed is on promises. But you can see I have a number of playlists here. And so if there's a particular area which you are tr struggling with, you want to learn more information about, perhaps it's covered in one of these playlists. So those are the areas you may want to look at on the channel page. Now I've also created another resource that some of you might find helpful for locating different tutorials. I have a list of all the tutorials on my website, All Things JavaScript. Now these are also organized into categories. So I have a getting started, and then I have everything that I think applies to someone that is fairly new to JavaScript more advanced tutorials, latest JavaScript features. So whenever I discuss something that is in a new version or something, I will put that in that category. JavaScript questions, general JavaScript topics, JavaScript problems, and JavaScript tips. So you can access any one of those categories. Now, the way I've listed the tutorials is simply a link to view the tutorial and then a description of what that tutorial covers. So YouTube has a graphical representation of the tutorials here. It's simply text. But you can find all of them on this page on the website. Finally, as some of you may be aware, I have two courses on Udemy. A getting started course and advanced topic course. And I'm about to release a third course on regular expressions. Now, those two courses have received great ratings. However, I don't have complete control over what Udemy charges. 
So I have copies of these same courses that I'm going to make available for a very low price for my website. $5 for the Getting Started course and $7 for the Advanced Topics course. Now you can go to this page on my website and then you can click register now for either one of those courses to be able to get that particular price. I plan to do about a hundred registrants in each of these courses. So if you'd like to dive into some of these, take advantage of it as soon as you can. Now both those prices are lower than I'm able to offer on Udemy and I wanted to make them more available to everyone so I've lowered that price a bit here on my website. Now before we are done here one additional thing you can do is subscribe to the channel so that you will be notified about new tutorials. You can hit the subscribe button or click the link on the left the one with my face. Each week I try to release a new tutorial. You can also hit the bell button so you're notified when new tutorials are released. Now if one of my courses is going to work for you, click the image in the center. You'll be taken to the page on the website where you can register for either the Getting Started course or the Advanced Topics course. And I hope to see you in one of those courses. Thanks for watching and here is to the next 100 tutorials.